We will begin this module by describing the Fokker 100 airframe and systems. We will note the aircraft's operating conditions, dimensions, and turning circle. The main external features of the Fokker 100 will be described, including engine specification. The type and location of flight control surfaces, the number and location of doors and windows, the lights, and finally, the probes and antennas. The Fokker 100 is a twin-engined aircraft designed for short to medium length flights. It is certified in the transport category for day and night operations. In VFR and IFR conditions, and in icing conditions. The aircraft can operate from runways as short as 6,000 feet and is limited to a maximum takeoff weight of 44,450 kilograms. The maximum operating speed limit is 320 knots or Mark 0.77 and has a maximum certified operating altitude of 35,000 feet. The flight deck, cabin, cargo compartment and several equipment compartments are pressurized. At a flight altitude of 35,000 feet, the cabin altitude is 8,000 feet. The aircraft has full Category 3B auto land capability. The Fokker 100 is equipped with a flight management system, FMS, electronic flight instrument system, EFIS, and an automatic flight control and augmentation system, AFCAS. The minimum flight crew allowed is two pilots. The Fokker 100 has an overall length of 35.53 meters and a wingspan of 28.07 meters. The fuselage is 32.50 meters long and 3.30 meters wide. The tail section stands 8.49 meters high and has a span of 10.04 meters. The nose gear may be steered using the tiller on the flight deck. The nose wheel may be steered to a maximum of 76 degrees in either direction. As a result, the minimum pavement width needed for a 180 degree turn is 22.2 meters. Note that the tail section turning circle is greater than that of the wing, and this needs to be taken into account when making tight turns. The Fokker 100 is equipped with two Rolls-Royce Tay 650-15 turbofan engines. The engine nacelles are located one on each side of the fuselage. The engines are fed by fuel stored in the two wing tanks and center tank. These tanks also feed the auxiliary power unit, the APU, which is used for ground operations, engine start, and as an auxiliary power supply. The aircraft has fully retractable tricycle landing gear, and the nose gear is provided with a nose wheel steering and centering system. The rudder, elevator, and stabilizer are operated by a dual element hydraulic system. The ailerons have a single hydraulic actuator each. Pitch trim is achieved by adjusting the entire horizontal stabilizer. Located on the upper surface of each wing are five lift dumper doors which are deployed automatically upon touchdown. The speed brakes form the tail cone of the aircraft. The flaps, lift dumper doors and speed brakes are all hydraulically operated. Slotted Fowler flaps with a full extension of 42 degrees make up two of the trailing edge sections of each wing. The anti-icing system prevents the buildup of ice on the leading edges of the horizontal stabilizer, wings and engines. All round visibility from the flight deck is provided by electrically heated front windows and sliding windows. The side windows are demisted by bleed air. The double pane construction of the passenger compartment windows allows for air conditioning flow to act as a demister. The Fokker 100 is equipped with one passenger door, one galley service door, 
four escape hatches, three cargo doors, and several service and maintenance hatches. The operation of doors will be discussed in another topic. The aircraft has three retractable taxi landing lights. One light is located in each wingtip and one underneath the aircraft nose. There are eight evacuation lights, one over each escape hatch, one each side of the fuselage aft of the wing to illuminate trailing edge areas, and two on each side of the air stair. Two wing inspection lights are located on the forward fuselage. There are two beacon lights, one at the bottom of the fuselage and one at the top of the vertical stabilizer. The wingtips and the tail cone contain a navigation light unit consisting of two navigation lights and one strobe light. A logo light is located on each wing. The operation of the lights will be discussed in another topic. Installed at the forward part of the fuselage are three pito heads that provide information for the air data computers. Six static ports are also located on the forward fuselage, as well as two angle of attack vanes for stall detection. The probes are electrically heated to prevent the buildup of ice. An ice detector is located below the forward fuselage. Antennas are externally mounted on the fuselage for DME, ADF, radio altitude, marker beacon, ATC transponder, and VHF COM. The HF COM antenna is located in the dorsal fin. However, no HF radio is fitted at the moment. The VOR antennas are located at the vertical stabilizer. Finally, located in the radome are the weather radar, localizer, and glide slope antennas. The passenger oxygen panel is located on the overhead panel. We have seen that the aircraft is designed for two pilot operation and is equipped with a flight management system, electronic flight instrument system, and an automatic flight control and augmentation system. We have noted the dimensions of the Fokker 100. We have also discussed the turning circle of the aircraft and established that the minimum pavement width needed is 22.2 meters, with the turning circle of the tail being greater than that of the wing. In addition, we have identified the primary external features of the Fokker 100 starting with the flight controls. We have noted the location of the windows and doors. We have identified the location of the lights. The operation of the lights will be discussed in another topic. We have located the electrically heated probes. We have also identified the location of the ice detector. The final external feature we have discussed in this topic is the location of the aircraft antennas.